Neighbors tell me they were upset, uh, understandably, about the loss of that baby. But they tell me as far as they knew, the family didn't appear to be having any issues. But police were called to this same house last night, although it was an unrelated incident. Now, just a while ago, police finally packed up. They had been out here since 7 o'clock this morning investigating this tragic situation. Crime tape now surrounds what neighbors say was a house filled with the laughter of children. I can see all the kids playing. There's always like eight or nine kids playing in the backyard because they have so many toys back there. It's just a kid friendly backyard. But today it was the sound of police sirens. Neighbors say they heard. And when I looked out the window, I seen them rushing into the house. Uh, I knew it was something serious because they were running and then the cops came. Uh, multiple vehicle, multiple police officers arrived. Police surrounded the house to investigate what they're calling the untimely death of an infant girl who neighbors say wasn't even two months old. About seven o'clock this morning, we were called to 20 Diamond Street on an untimely death of an infant. Um, detectives are still investigating now with the Connecticut State Police Major Crime Squad. Just days before, the family celebrated the holiday. This past Saturday, they had an Easter egg hunt for the neighborhood children, and it was very kind of them to do such a thing. They did an Easter egg hunt. They seemed very friendly. But last night, neighbors and police say at the same house, there was fighting. Two people even got arrested. Then this morning, the tragic death of the baby. Neighbors say the couple living there had two other children, twin girls and a son. But they left with DCF when police came to investigate. You know, my sympathy goes out because the baby did die, but everybody got to realize that there are other kids involved that, you know, they got to be taken care of and everybody's got to understand that, that they're dealing with that loss too. Officials with DCF today would not confirm the whereabouts of the other children in the family. However, they said they're looking into it. I recently contacted police. They said they haven't made any arrests just yet. But of course, this story is developing and we'll keep you up to date and stay on top of this with any new details. Live in Naugatuck, AJ Walker, News 8.